Greetings family, it's Empress D in nature, enjoying myself in a wonderful, warmer than expected day. It's so nice out here. Like I'm wearing, like, as you can see, no layers. It's nice family. I hope you guys are having nice weather wherever you're at and that you're getting out and experiencing it. I've been here for a bit, so the attack of the red ants has started, but it's okay. I have dealt with the, most of them, but every so often you might feel me notice one on some part of my body. But family, listen, I love everybody. Um, I'm a melanated being and I have a special affinity to melanated beings. As a member of that community, we've had a, a rough go, right? On this planet and so lots of challenges for us but it's all good you know um, it is what it is and we've dealt with it and we're doing what we're doing um, right now it seems as though the challenges between the melanated female and the mel melanated male in terms of engaging in romantic let me preface that engaging in healthy romantic relationships it's really dismal right now there's there's not a lot of that going on and and i'm worried about the fact that the messaging that's happening right now is promoting that even further right putting us more against each other and pitting us further apart right family um i please melanated females we have to do what will be best for our future generations okay that's the kind of mindset that we have to partake in let's Let's think about not what we want right now at this second. Let's think about what do we want for our next generation? What type of world do we want for our children? And think about that. I'm sure most of us would want a world that's more fair, more loving, more kind, more accepting. So why not be that, right? Because if we become that, our children will model and then the next generation after that will beautifully be living in within lo with love leading with love we can do it we just have to recognize what's going on recognize that we have to really be still and really spend time with ourselves so that we can really learn to listen to that inner voice inside of us because we're, if we're still enough you'll hear it i promise <laughs> i promise you just consist just consistency family whatever your practice is whatever it oh man whether it's coming out in nature spending some time with yourself in nature or whether it's meditating you know just dancing freestyle by yourself i don't know whatever makes you become mindless right the activities that help you become mindless that's why i liked working out because working out and competitively working out like made you mind you don't you have to get you're you're not thinking about anything else but what you're doing right this second it helps you be in the now so that's training because you should always just be in now like living right now and right now there's no worries right and guess what the past it's done can't change it so right now it's cool right we make it what we want it to be because it's right now do you get me like living in the now means that don't worry about the past because you can't change it don't worry about the future because it hasn't happened but right now you have the power to make it whatever you want it to be i hope it doesn't sound cliche but i'm telling you if you live by those principles you create your life to whatever you want it to be right i'm telling you anyway family that's what i wanted to share today um i hope everybody's getting out in nature and enjoying themselves um in some form or fashion sorry the ants um sorry 
in, in some form or fashion, right? I, I hope you're doing something for yourself every day, something to help keep yourself sane or get yourself sane, right? Something to improve your mental health every day. I hope you're getting to know yourself. And through that process, you usually do, right? When you, when you invest in yourself, that's when you get to know yourself. And that's why I say, just start with doing something. Oh my gosh, sorry. They don't joke, eh? They're all over me. Anyway. <laughs> and I'm in the water purposefully to try to like, my, whatever, man. Family, um, I guess it's my cue to stop because the red ants are telling me to come out of their territory. I'm going to listen. I hope everybody gets out in nature and gets to feel what I'm feeling right now. Please, family, take value in stocking yourself. Thank you for taking the <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to listen to this message, family. I love and I value each and every one of you. One love.